guys, so we're here with Leia because the other day we put up a video of her doing some eccentric work as she's prepping for the National Powerlifting Championship. And we got a lot of questions coming back, what are we looking for in the squat? So I'm just going to run you through some of the things that we look for. This is what we're doing with Leia. I try to get her in the most efficient pattern possible because I want her lifting the same way 10 years from now as she is today, but just heavier and heavier and heavier. We have good success with it because her weight is actually going through the roof. Uh, so like I said, we talk a lot about leaks here. So we want to make sure there's no leak in the pattern that she's doing and to make sure she keeps the most efficient angles as possible. So we're going to get laid under the bar. So some of the things we're looking for. So obviously we always know that one of the things we look for is the tibia angle, torso angle. We want to keep that the same. We want to keep these arms locked down inside with the torso to make sure that we're following through that perfect pattern. Go ahead, Lou. So that's what we're looking for in the squat. You can come out of that lift. Some of the things that we don't want to see and that we see often are the elbows start flying back, which in fact, when we get to the bottom, it ends up pushing the person forward and then you see like her pyrospinals want to start firing up. So Leah, just do one like that. And we saw the butt wink and the excessive arch when it comes into her back. So come up out of that. So let's get that back in there. We're going to keep a nice flat arm here. Like I said, this line, this line, shin line, they should all come in together. Go ahead, Leah. And up. Another thing you notice that Leia has no collars on on the side. When we're coming up in the weight, we like to see this because the pattern that she sets, whether it's 135, 225, 325, we want to make sure that pattern is, is ideal. So when we have no collars, we're seeing is the bar rotating, is the bar dipping, because that's going to give us an indication of what could be happening further down in the chain. So go do, bang through a couple there, Leia. So again, we're going to watch that. So we saw she had a little bit of butt wink. Now she locked it down. We're a lot better there. Look at the lines. We keep the bar right above the feet because ultimately, what are we trying to do with a squat? We're trying to create more ground force. Whether it's for athletics, whether it's for powerlifting, whether it's for hockey, for basketball, can you create enough ground force to get you higher, to push you off, to make you run faster, and so on. All right, guys, stay tuned because we're going to break the other things down. How the split squat helps with the squat, how the plank, doing the plank helps with the squat. And we're going to start running these things weekly, maybe twice a week, just to give people a better idea of how everything else contributes to the bigger lifts and how the bigger lifts contribute to some of the more supportive or accessory lifts. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks.